Well, it was impossible. <laughs> it was very difficult to get anywhere going north-south in this part of town. For years, residents have been complaining, and finally their concerns have been heard. The division created by the railway tracks between King and the lakefront is being bridged by the new Garrison Crossing. The uh, Garrison Crossing is going to be an excellent example of connectivity from Trinity Bellwoods Park right down to the waterfront. Uh, and providing uh, vantage points back east along the rail corridor back to the city. So to get to the water, you had to go out to, over to Strawn or across to Bathurst. There was no way to get across to the lake. It's, it's a bit hectic because Queen Street is, is very congested. So it's, it just uh, can be hazardous if you're not, if you're not like aware and, and like overly aware. Work was underway last night as crews brought in a heavy-duty crane that hoisted the 130-ton stainless steel structure and put it into place. And it's a duplex stainless steel bridge with two spans, uh, the only uh, stainless steel bridge in all of Canada, and the two spans roll over the Kitchener Rail Corridor into a brand new park in Ordnance Triangle and then into, uh, into the Garrison Common or Fort York. This is the first of the two Garrison Crossing Bridge structures. Each is about 52 meters long. The second is expected to be installed in September and will span over the Lakeshore West Rail Corridor. There has been a unanimous sigh of relief from residents that this plan has finally been put in motion, many saying that this will be a symbol of communities being connected. They're connecting the communities and they're connecting communities to the waterfront. So I think it's great. 100%, yeah, cutting through the park, going, there's tons of cyclists um, traveling through the park anyway, so to get a direct route will be super quick. I would love it. The bridges should be fully accessible to pedestrians and cyclists by the spring, and officials tell City News there also could be some new parks added to the area. In Toronto, Brandon Rowe, City News.